impacts all of us. Doesn't matter where you live, though. D.C. is cracking down on dangerous drivers Maybe. and repeat offenders. Those drivers who rack up huge fines because of unsafe driving. But these are drivers who haven't paid a dime. District residents have been concerned about this for years. And we're talking tens of thousands of dollars in fines. And starting this month, for the first time, D.C. can now go after those out-of-state drivers. Joy Wang joins us right now in studio to talk about the STEER Act. Yeah, this is something that we were seeing blowing up on social media. And we'll get to those posts in just a moment. But now, no matter where the driver is from, where the car is registered, D.C. can now take action. It's so about let's break time. <laughs> that is what a lot of people have been saying. So let's break all of that down for you right now. You're seeing the first bullet point here. Sue drivers outside of D.C. What does that mean? Well, the attorney general will now be able to have that new authority to sue drivers. These civil suits target vehicles and their owners who have received large traffic fines but haven't paid them. Now this is mainly for drivers who owe tens of thousands of dollars, not those with a ticket or two. And you may remember that driver in Maryland with more than $180,000 in DC fines. That is an example. Let's reveal the next one now. We are talking about Speed Governor Pilot Program. There's a pilot program where the DMV can now install what are called speed governors in the cars of people convicted of criminal reckless and aggravated reckless driving. This limits the car's speed automatically. And finally, there's also protection for victims as well. The STEER Act will ensure that victims of car thefts aren't responsible for the tickets racked up by someone driving that stolen car. And finally, take a look at your screen right now because this is what else the STEER Act does. It creates a new point system that actually targets vehicles with repeat speeding violations. This is separate from the point system for drivers assigned to a license. Now, depending on how fast you're going over the speed limit, the vehicle can rack up between two and 10 points, get 10 or more within six months, and the car can be booted or towed. Now, whether you are paying those tickets or not, of course, there are a lot of people talking on social media, and this is what we've got pulled up right now. Check this out. Some people pretty optimistic, a couple of DC residents saying things like, I hope that the STEER Act improves pedestrian safety, the district, and that drivers of the DMV heed to those warnings. Meanwhile, Kathy saying, this has long made my blood boil. All that money, they flaunt the law knowing little can be done. And of course, there's also some skepticism as well. Look at this tweet right here. These new ideas and rules are a good start, but we will have to see what the actual enforcement looks like. And finally, John asking, what's the enforcement mechanism? And why wasn't this implemented along with the authorization for cameras in the first place? We're going to keep you updated on what happens. Joy, thank you. Now this is the deadly crash on Rock Creek Parkway last year that prompted this bill, the STEER Act. Nikita Walker is set to go on trial next month for second degree murder in the crash that killed three people. Now police say she had at least three previous DUI convictions and 38 unpaid speeding tickets in D.C. totaling $11,000.